Today we are going to figure out exactly what the best Switch X is. The short answer is... Uh, <laughs> there is no short answer, but there is a really long answer. It does to, de to a degree come down to preference, but there are some clear... Uh, clear winners in this uh, conversation. And some common misconceptions, especially about Bludgeoner. Now... One thing I should like just make very clear is that Bludgeoner isn't as great as you think it is. And in every single case, the uh, the, the Nargakuya and Tigrix weapons outperform the Bludgeoner builds. But the Bludgeoner builds do have do have some what's the word? Um do have some benefits to them. One of which is you don't have to sharpen them really ever. I'm like uh, only until a monster like moves or something, but you don't ever have to worry about sharpness because you usually have an absurd amount of green sharpness. And the Bludgeoner builds also then they have a little more room for uh, comfy and customization. But uh, let's go over one, each of these builds one by one, and let me um let me explain why what build is better than the other. Uh, this one here is the Diablos Switch X build, the newest version. Uh, that came up came out with update 2.0 has 240 base attack um i've um updated the rampage to uh, skill to give it i think negative or give it i think six percent more affinity uh either way we're offsetting some of the negative affinity so that we have 23 base plus uh 50 from the weakness exploit uh we want as much affinity as possible because we don't we definitely don't want um we definitely don't want to not crit, obviously. So, um, this build specifically, three bludgeoner, six crit eye. Unfortunately, if you want seven crit eye, which may be preferential, I'm gonna bump up the averages a little more. You're gonna want to, you're gonna want to drop one rapid morph. So, depending on your preference, I did this test and all of the weapons with three rapid morph. So, so, uh, if you do want a little higher averages on your DPS and you don't use uh, the morph attacks as much, you may just want to drop it. But um, on average, I did, and I did the averages, I did the math, and uh, you know me, you know how much I hate math. On average, the average hit um, added up to about, let me look at the numbers here again, about 473 average on these combos here. I use this combo as just like a as a reference point to see like what the average was. I did the combo 20 times. Uh just to get the numbers down and then just found the average of it and added up to about 473. Your not your numbers may vary if you do the same testing, obviously. Uh, if you do um more like just a larger pool of um of numbers, you'll probably have something more accurate, but probably like around that range, you know. Let's, let's round it up to 474, 475, 480, you know. Uh, but that this is with as much affinity as humanly possible and bludgeoner. It's a Diablo switch act. Keep in mind, you all do also have exhaust file on this thing, which is it's probably useful. <laughs> I don't know, I haven't tested exhaust. I have stained the thief on this as well. I think I was able to get Sam the Thief on the other ones. We'll see. Um, but let's test the next one. This is the kind of bludgeoner build. This next build. This is the kind of build you should definitely not use. It's something that I messed around with to see if it was actually worth it. But this build here is definitely not in any running for best switch axe. Or best switch axe build, I should say. This is just um, stacking attack. This is just stacking seven attack. And, um, also have Max Mind's Eye. The other build only had, uh, one Mind's Eye, I believe. Uh, you just do not have room for two. Sadly, so, um, this build does have, uh, three Mind's Eye. So it does have the benefit of actually doing more damage on, um, on non-weak points where you're doing, uh, white damage. It does, um, have that benefit. But, uh, other than that, um... It is able to fit a lot more comfy, so I put in three part breakers. So you may want this kind of build to just um, maybe possibly break parts. I put the Inga Greaves to offset the negative affinity so we don't ever get negative crits. 
so we actually have three percent crit on this so you will actually do a little bonus damage three percent of the time but mostly as you can see compared to previous builds 412 to 43 that's that's almost 20 percent less uh less attack so it does do significantly less or decent amount less than um the street affinity build but um it does have more part breakers so if you want to break parts you may want to make a build like this if you're able to because uh, you can i just squeeze in part breaker via the talisman so you may want to do this build over the other one if uh you just want to go out and break some parts for something you know just for some part farming okay next build we're going to cover <laughs> is now the t-rex t-rex switch axe now t-rex weapons are very very popular people are saying they're the new meta they're better than uh Nargakuga. and the one thing i can tell you about the t-rex switch axe compared to Nargakuga. It actually has more white sharpness, so it does have that advantage right there. More white sharpness. And, um, I was also able to squeeze in, uh, more affinity than the Diablo Switch Axe. Then this also had a lot of negative affinity, so we're still only at, still only at 70%. But averaged out, this was the hardest hitting Switch Axe. This was. Just averaged out. So you're not going to be able to get crits 100% of the time. But averaged out, you will hit harder than any other Switch Axe that I've tested. Well, I guess of the of the, four, of the four that I tested, you will hit on average harder. But <laughs> the thing is um, with the Nargakuga that you'll see is... It's, I, I can't really, it's really hard to tell which one's better. Because the Nargiku is far more consistent. Uh, as far as this build is concerned. Oh, uh, we got, um. Uh, it's basically, um. The Rapid Morph is all from my charm, I believe. Uh. The old school uh, Switch X build used the Almadron helmet for Rapid Morph, but honestly, it's kind of obsolete now because of the Teoster helmet. And because it's so much easier to get a lot of Rapid Morph and slots in your Talisman, your best your best putting in that Switch X comfy on your uh, on your Talisman. More than likely, you have something with two or three Rapid Morph and a slot or two for your Talisman, so that's where you should put it over over this because you're not going to be able to replace this on the talisman as easily as rapid morph on the talisman so that's why you go with that um as far as everything else just um i was only able to fit in two speed sharpen i, I prioritized damn the thief over speed sharpen you're probably going to want to switch it around i just wanted to see what three stam the thief was like but i'm not even sure if it's even if it even really does anything so you probably want three speed sharpen over um over uh three stamp thief. Uh but having said that, the average of this with uh 20, 20 times of me doing this in a row right here. This combo right here. Doing that 20 times in a row, the average came out to 557. Now that is that is a uh, that is 20% more than Diablos, <laughs> right there, about 20, about 20%, I think. 20? 20%? 25? Something like that. But uh, yeah, this one definitely hits the hardest. It has more wide sharpness. But now let's switch to the Nargakuga. And um, this one's a little interesting because your, your top damage will be lower but you will be far more consistent. You will be so consistent that you will hit 543 every single time. Assuming assuming you have white sharpness. It should also be noted that blue sharpness for Tigrix weapons and Nargakuga weapons does more damage than Diabolus weapons. It's like that's how that's how much of a difference white sharpness makes. 
Yeah, that it's better than green sharpness and um, it's better than um, a blue blue um blue damage or a blue sharpness is even better than a bludgeoner plus green sharpness. It's bludgeoner is kind of a meme, but it's just an interesting, unique way to make a build where you don't have to just worry about sharpening. But blue sharpness is just always gonna be better, and white sharpness will even be better, better. So even when you dip from white to blue, you will still be doing more damage than than green sharpness weapons with bludgeoner. So, um, so you do have less sharpness than the Tigrex, but um, as you can see, I have a free slot here, and if I wanted to, I could put a I don't I could put if I wanted to I could put. Max. Uh, master's touch and i could drop um i could drop um um a crit eye i could drop a crit eye and i have two master's touch and if i wanted to i could probably drop another <laughs> i could drop another and have three master's touch and i would only and i would still be at 95 percent affinity so even though this does a little less damage than the tigrix build the fact that i could Still have 95 percentity, not 95 percent affinity. Drop a, ma a rapid morph and have like free extra slot and slot in master's touch, and have potentially way more sharpness than the Tigrex. I would argue that this is better than Tigrex, and if you extrapolate that to other weapons, you could make a good argument for an argument for weapons being better than Tigrex, being that if you slot in master's touch, you will probably never drop below white more than like blue so that is the advantage of um of the narcotuga versus tigrex yes you'll hit like not as hard but the consistency is what's important now the last build i want to cover here is kind of a in between between um in between um diablos and narcotuga and tigrex that is Rajang. Now for Rajang, you are doing more damage, surprisingly, more damage on average than Diablos because you're able to get 100% affinity. Rajang weapons here in, um, in Rise Convert to World have positive affinity, so they're more like the, the furious Rajang weapons. And so you're easily able to get 100% affinity. In fact, we are overcapped by 5%. So, um, you have a lot more consistency. And that consistency is still... A 498, but, um, it should also be noted. It's actually not as consistent. Well, it's consistent, but I do have, um, dulling strikes. To where you get a slight damage boost whenever, um... Whenever you, um... This whenever you attack. So, av like normally, if dulling strikes never procs, this this combo always hits for 41. So when I average it out, it actually did average to 498. So your average is what about 10% under Tigrex and Nargahuga. Um, a little 10% so over 10% over Diablos. A little stronger than Diablos. Uh, Switch Axe looks much cooler, so I would say if you don't want to go super meta Tigrex or Nargatuga, that you go Rajang. Oh, uh, it's not, again, it's not really hard to make these builds. You know, one thing you need to just remember with, um, with, uh, Bludgeoner is Tigrex arms will typically be best in slot unless you have a really good Talisman. Um... And, uh, that's about it. So if I had to, if I had to take a pick, I would probably avoid Diablos at all cost. I know it, like, looks really good, but it's, it's not consistent. It looks ugly as hell. <laughs> and, uh, Rajang, um, outperforms it by a decent amount. But, um, obviously if you want to be the super meta... Tigrex or Nargahuga are the way to go. There's not that much difference. So, like, when somebody says, Oh, Tigrex is the better. No, Nargahuga is the, be the better ones. Like, they're practically the same. It just depends on how you build them. They both have their pros and cons and stuff like that. So, um, it all depends on which one you 
like aesthetically because at, at the end of the day it'll just come down to aesthetics and i like narakuga <laughs> aesthetic more than tigrex so um that's that um it's the first time i've actually like spent hours crunching numbers to figure this out but that's what i found out if you have any other data that speaks what i said feel free to leave it in the comment and uh, make fun of my terrible math um until next time um uh, hit the like button subscribe if you want to i don't care um but follow me on twitch follow me on twitch uh see you next time Bye bye